Hey everyone, uh, time for episode three of Longest Off Season Ever. This episode is dedicated to my longest sponsor ever, and that is Goo Energy Labs. Uh, they have been sponsoring me in some way, shape, or form since around 2006, uh, maybe a little before that. I don't remember. Basically, when they started sponsoring me, I had to print off a form from email. Uh, like, they emailed a form. You had to print it off, check the little boxes, you know, like ordering sushi at a restaurant, and tell them what you wanted and fax it to them. And then a few days later, you'd get your stuff in the mail. So, uh, thank you, Goo, for making a great product. It's something that I have liked even before they sponsored me, something that I use since then. They have evolved and added new products uh, as time has gone on. They've always been there for me. Uh, in an industry like the bike industry where sponsors come and go, people flake out. Uh, you know, it seems like they, they've got their shit together. And I really appreciate that. It's always been a really good relationship with them. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I, I love their stuff and I appreciate their support. So, uh, the ride I did yesterday was around four hours long. You can see I've got a nice, uh, little sunburn here from it. It was beautiful. I pretty much hammered the whole time. Uh, not hammer like, you know, dying or anything, but I, I was able to have a good steady, like hard aerobic to tempo pace the entire ride for four hours straight. And I felt awesome after the ride. I had a recovery shake. Actually, I had recovery ice cream. I'm lying. Uh, <laughs> but I, you know, I, I recovered well. Um, I used their products for the whole ride. And that's, I really attribute it. It's, you know, it's hard training is what allows you to do something like that. But also uh, proper nutrition. So I'm going to walk you through the stuff that I use on uh, just about a daily basis for all of my training and just kind of everyday hydration and stuff like that uh, right over here on my shelf. So this is uh, the nutrition shelf of the house and you'll see it's not all goo stuff. Uh, some of this is mats. Uh, some of it is expired product from the bike shop. Uh, some of it's samples that we've gotten, you know, but I'm gonna take you through the goo stuff and uh, what it is I like each product for. So uh, number one, would be these little hydration mix tabs. These are great uh, for just everyday hydration. Some people drink them while they're exercising. I really like them for before and after exercise. I drink them at the shop, like even on days that I'm not training uh, because it's hot in there and I'm working the whole time I'm on my feet, you know, and there's, um, you know, you still need to hydrate while you're doing that kind of stuff. So I like these. The best thing about these is that they don't have any sugar alcohols in them. They're sweetened with some stevia. Uh, other than that, no sugar alcohols, no uh, sucralose, xylitol, any of that stuff. That stuff tears my stomach apart. So I'm really happy to have these. These are pretty much the only ones I'm actually able to drink. So when they released these without sugar alcohol, I was really excited about it. Uh, that's hydration mix in a uh, single serve portable form. Those are nice, they fit in a jersey pocket or drop bag or anything. Uh, <clears throat> I've got my chews. These are delicious. It's kind of like having a gel in a chewable form. Uh, super tasty. I have never tried a flavor of these that I didn't really love. So if you're picky, these are great. Your dentist won't like them, but you know, they taste awesome. Uh, it's a good way to get some easily digestible calories that you can chew on on, on the uh, bike or running or whatever. I've got some waffles. These are delicious, and you'll see in a video uh, later in this episode how I carry these around when I'm riding to keep from like breaking the edges apart and stuff like in a pocket or in my frame bag. But these are really, really tasty. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, over here on the, the gel side. I train mostly with Roctane. It's really really good for high intensity exercise it's really good for anything where you're going to feel fatigued and instead of your energy level just kind of going down 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 like this as your ride goes on or your intervals go on it might kind of go down a little bit but then it just doesn't it doesn't go down as much it kind of levels that slope off it gives you those few watts back that you lose as you get tired so i really really like it for that it's a noticeable difference 
If you've never tried it before and you train hard, I highly recommend giving it a shot. They make multi-serving packs. I'll put this in a gel flask to eat while I'm on long rides or races where I uh, don't want to have to mess with little packets of gel. Uh, this is strawberry kiwi. It's really tasty. Uh, no caffeine in that one. I've got pineapple. Also a no caffeine flavor. Tastes like a Jolly Rancher. I've got blueberry pomegranate. This is my favorite Roctane that has caffeine in it. It's only 35 milligrams of caffeine. That's probably about what I've got in this cup of coffee right here. So just a little bit of caffeine. It's not caffeine and Roctane that makes it so awesome. It's the extra amino acids that are in it. So definitely uh, give it a shot. Uh, I've also got some Tutti Frutti. Uh, I hadn't tried this one before and I got a case of it. It's, you know, I'll go through it, but it's got kind of a banana flavor to it and I'm not huge on banana, so I'll uh, probably skip this one and stick with the blueberry pomegranate next time though. But if you like banana and like um, super fruity flavor in your gel, this is, this is the way to go. Uh, as far as non-Roctane gels, I've got some cucumber mint, oops, some cola. Both of these are a little less sweet, especially the cucumber mint less sweet than other gels. So it's really good for when you start getting tired. Uh, the mint gives you like a nice feeling in your mouth. Like, I don't know, it's, it's nice. Like when you, you kind of have that like dry salty mouth, uh, this one's really refreshing. Uh, I've got caramel macchiato. Gives you um, just a, a little bit of extra caffeine. It's a 40 milligram caffeine gel. Tastes a little like coffee and a little like caramel. So two flavors I really like together. And then my favorite non-caffeine, non-roctane gel is gingerade for sure. I love ginger. So super subtle. It's not like a spicy, like hurt your mouth kind of ginger, like, uh, you know, like pickled ginger, something you get with sushi. It's not, or horseradish, or, no, that's not ginger. Uh, but, you know, like it's not like a super sharp flavor, but a nice mellow ginger flavor. Really, really like that one. Uh, on the drink mix side, we've got... Uh, my favorite two hydration mix flavors, watermelon, uh, kind of my general go-to, uh, and blueberry pomegranate. The blueberry pomegranate has extra sodium in it, so I use it when it's really hot or if I'm riding the trainer because I sweat a whole lot on the trainer. Those are my two favorite flavors. I pretty much only drink those two because they're delicious. I would drink them all the time if I you know, needed an extra like 60 calories or 70 calories in a bottle all the time, but I, I don't. So yeah, they're good. Like I kind of crave those flavors on a daily basis. I've got my recovery mix. Uh, vanilla is my favorite flavor. It's really good if you mix it with almond milk or coconut milk. I've got some Roctane drink. Uh, it's got extra amino acids, just like the gels. So really good at fighting off fatigue, along with uh, giving you some calories and some electrolytes. Grape is my favorite no caffeine flavor. And I have not tried this flavor yet, but this one is also a lightly caffeinated uh, Roctane uh, lemon berry. Kind of a newer flavor, haven't tried it, so looking forward to that one. Probably get on it uh, like Friday or something with my trainer ride. So that's it, um, that's my stash. They have more stuff. So the thing with Goo Energy Labs, they have um, a lot of products. This isn't all of it. These are just the ones that I use on a day-to-day -day basis for most of my training. Uh, <clears throat> go to their website and check out, you know, if you're unsure about nutrition, they have guides up there to help you out. Uh, I think, you know, they have resources on their website if you have questions. So go there and take a look. I highly recommend their products. And like I said, uh, the ride you're about to see video from, it's been, uh, you know, one of those just awesome days where I just felt really steady all day and yeah, you know, I really attributed it um, in part to using the Goo products. So enjoy. Why did the elk cross the road?
Probably just to get another view of this. I'm on the uh, the Great Divide mountain bike route right now. It's uh, 18 miles from my house. Well, I mean the route itself goes like a mile from my house, but I'm uh, on a pretty scenic part. There's no one else out here. Just me and an antelope and this waffle. Maybe he'll want to eat the waffle. I'm doing a, a route that's a long sticked lollipop and uh, that was the end of the loop. I had gone that way originally. That's the uh, Tour Divide mountain bike route. I'm about to head back to town. There's about a bitch of a 600 foot climb starting at the bottom of this hill where the, where the road's wet uh, and going up to a saddle somewhere in those mountains. Uh, I think it's just to the right of, it's either just to the right or just to the left of that one with the uh, snow on top. I'm pretty sure it's just to the right, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you can look at it on Strava. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. I'm at 9,911 feet. Where I was just when I was singing before was 10,001, so about 700 feet of climbing from that um, that spot I said would be 600. It rolls um, gradually uphill for two miles, so you gain a, about 100 feet in two miles from that spot, and then you gain the rest of the 700 feet, so 600 more feet in two miles. So it's it's like gradual and then just straight up and. It's fun. I feel really good. I'm really happy with my training right now because I'm uh, 348 into the ride and I killed it. And now, uh, so this is, yeah, I mentioned this is the Tour Divide or the Great Divide mountain bike route. Um, this is the last hill. Basically, uh, from here, it is all downhill into Salida. Um, it's about 10 miles or so. Put my jacket on and uh, head down. I just had to stop here. This is close to the top of where I just was. But this is my favorite overlook within a day's ride of my house. It is an old mine site. See all the rocks. Then you get to see this. Sometimes it's a recovery mix, sometimes it's just ice cream. Here is what gets me through a 4 hour and 20 minute ride at like an aerobic to tempo 
pace. So you've got uh, one waffle, two packs of chews, two gels. Got this Oveja Negra bag that's really awesome. Um, also, a bottle of Roctane, kind of mildly mixed up, and a bottle of electrolyte drink, the Goo Energy Labs. Uh, today was watermelon. It is delicious. And grape Roctane. Uh, food I didn't eat because if you eat all of your food, you didn't pack enough. Um, this is a Pop Tart holder, and it holds three waffles. So, a uh, couple waffles. What else do I have in here? Didn't eat those. Usually on higher intensity rides, I don't eat um, this kind of stuff because it's it's got some fiber and coconut oil and stuff in it. It's I mean it's good for like a, a long easy ride but you know if you're pedaling hard that kind of sits in your stomach. Um, I didn't eat my ginger goo. I've got gloves. That's it. So a little bit of food I didn't eat. Um, a lot of food that I did eat. Had some oatmeal right before I went out. Uh, that's about it.